Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a haul video for you guys. Sephora recently had a sneak peek of their holiday, um, some of their holiday collection for the VIB Rouge members. So I went to that sale as well as picked up a lot of stuff offline and I picked up some stuff from Ulta and the drugstore. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything that I haul from all these different stores and the stuff that I ordered offline, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I'm just going to start off with my drugstore items first, simply because I don't have that many drugstore items, mainly just a lot of lippies. So I'm just going to show you everything that I picked up from the drugstore. And the first thing that I'm going to show you are these Ico, these Scandalite Ico pencils that I picked up from Rimmel London. If you watch my channel, you already know that the black Ico pencil from Rimmel London is my favorite Ico pencil of all times. So I picked up a, another black and then I also picked up the shades purple and deep blue. And I picked up these shades because I thought they would be perfect for the fall time. So yeah, I'm really excited to try these out in my waterline. Alright guys, next up are these Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chromes. And I picked up two shades. I picked up the shade Bronze Sheen and Gunmetal. And I just wanted to pick up two shades to see how I would like them first before I just, you know, bought a lot of colors. Because I think they were like $8 a piece. So, I picked up the shade Bronze Sheen, which looks like it would be a beautiful color on the lid. And then I picked up the shade Gunmetal. So, I'll just swatch these on my hand for you. And I swatched these on my hand the other day and... The staying power on them is really nice. Like, I have a hard time getting them off. So, yeah, they should last pretty well on the eyes. And they should be pretty good on the eyes even if you don't put a base on, even if you don't put an, an eyeshadow on top of it. I'm sorry. You should just be able to wear these alone. But I'm going to test that out and see. And this is just how the shades look. These are super, super pretty. This one is bronze sheen. And this one is gunmetal. Alright guys, and next up I picked up a blush from Milani, and it is a baked blush in the shade Carnelius. And this blush is super pretty. It looks like an orangey peachy blush. I'm going to open it for you and swatch it for you, but I hadn't seen this in my local drugstores. I picked these up from Target, so when I saw it, I was like, oh, I really want that color because, I mean, it looks like it would show up really nicely on deeper skin tones. And that's just how it looks. Just swatch it for you. And it's really pigmented. Like, there's a swatch. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. I really like this. It's going to be really pretty in the fall time. Alright guys, next up I picked up two lipsticks from the Maybelline Bowls Collection. And I picked up the shades Chocolate and Mauvet. And I picked up these shades because I thought that they would be really pretty for the summer... Sorry, the fall time. So this one is chocolate, and that is just how chocolate looks. It's really pretty. And these swatch so creamy, like I swatched them on the back of my hand. And they're really creamy. And then the next shade I got is Mauvet. I'm just going to swatch this one on the back of my hand. And that is just how Mauvet looks. Again, it looks like it would be a beautiful color on deeper skin tones. So that's Mauvet and that's Chocolate. And these are from the Maybelline Bowls Collection. Their new collection they just put out in the drugstore in the navy blue tubes. Alright guys, next up I picked up five of the Milani um, Matte Amour liquid lipsticks from their fall collection. And I picked these up from Target, and they smell really good. And these are some beautiful colors. So I swatched them all on the back of my hand for you guys, just so you can see how they look. And this color right here is gorgeous. And it is just a really pretty deep pink. And this is gorgeous. The next shade is Obsession. And this one is Obsession, and it's just a beautiful purple. And this is Obsession. I'm 
Let's see, the next shade is Adorable. And this one is Adorable and it's just a really pretty nude. I really can't, now this is the only one that I've tried on. And I really can't get away without wearing a lip liner with this one. And this one is Adorable. And it's just a really pretty nude. And the next one is Loved. And this is Loved. It looks kind of like, I don't know, it, it kind of looks orangey on the camera. Like a nudie orangey shade. But it looks like a pretty nude, I don't know, it doesn't have like the orange undertone in it in person if that makes sense but this is the shade loved but it is a very beautiful color and the last shade is precious and this is precious and this is precious swatched on my hand so these are all of the shades that I picked up in the Milani a more matte lip cream in their fall collection now if you want to see lip swatches of these of course all you guys know all you have to do is ask and I'll give you a lip swatch video so I might as well just go ahead and show you the last product that I picked up from the drugstore and it is the elf kiss it goodbye lip color remover and this is just a product I don't think that this is a new product like I've seen this on Elf's website before but this is my first time seeing it in my drugstore so I just picked it up and you're supposed to be able to remove lip stains liquid lipsticks you know this stuff is supposed to take anything off of your lips so I'm really excited to try this and see if it works. And it is the Elf Kiss It Goodbye Lip Color Remover. Alright guys, moving on to the stuff that I ordered offline. I really didn't order that much, but I ordered some stuff from Anastasia Beverly Hills, from MAC, Tarte, Ofra, and I think that's it. So from Ofra, I ordered their latest highlighter, and this is just how it came. Isn't this so pretty? Like it was stuffed down in the little tissue. It was nice and secured in the box also, but I just thought that this little package was cute that it came in. And this is their latest highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And I really wanted to try this because it looks like such a pretty gold. And this is just how it looks. And I'll just do a quick swatch for you. This is it on my finger. It's such a pretty gold. And I'll just swipe it for you. And that is just how it looks. And this is Ofra's latest highlighter from, sorry, this is the latest highlighter from Ofra Cosmetics in Rodeo Drive. All right guys, so next up I'm gonna show you the, the things I ordered from MAC and I only ordered two products and I got two samples which I don't think that I will ever have to purchase a full size strobe cream because every time I place my order, I get a sample size strobe cream. So I think I have like five of these that, um, here. So yeah, I don't think I'll ever have to purchase a full size strobe cream. And then I just got the Prep and Prime Skin Base Massage, which I do own the full size of, but I still have a few of these left. So maybe, I don't know, I'll just throw these in my 1000 subscriber giveaway. All right, so moving on to the products that I ordered. Of course, you guys know that Taraji P. Henson cookie from um, the show Empire recently came out with a few items with MAC and the new lipstick. Since I already have so many nudes, which was called, I'm not sure what the lipstick was called, but I'll put it, I'll have it listed somewhere in the description box, but I didn't get the lipstick. I got both of the mineralized skin finishes and one is a natural skin finish and one is a highlighter which I think that they, they've got them labeled wrong on the packaging like on the website they have them labeled right but on the packaging they have them labeled wrong so let's see which one this one is so this one says that it is highlight the truth but this one is the natural skin finish and it's it looks more like a blush but this one they have highlight the truth on but on the website they had they have it as Taraji glow so this one is actually Taraji glow but on the back of the packaging, they've got Highlight the Truth. So this one is Taraji Glow. And it is just a really beautiful orangey, pinky. I don't know. The color kind of reminds me of... Um, 
I don't know. Toasted almond. <laughs> the color reminds me of toasted almond from Black Radiance. Do you see how similar they are? I'm not saying that they're dupe because I haven't really swatched them yet, but they look fairly close. So I'm just going to swatch Taraji Glow for you. And this is just how it looks. This is really pretty and it's going to be a really pretty blush on a woman of color for, I don't even know if you can see that. Let's see if I can swatch a little more. It's going to be a really pretty color on a woman of color for a blush for the fall time. <clears throat> now I do think that these are sold out. I'm not sure if they'll be coming back and stock with them online, which I doubt it because they never do bring any of their limited edition products back. But I know that they're in a couple of freestanding stores. So if you stay near a MAC freestanding store, you can go by and see if they still have it in stock. I think the lipstick is still available online, but that's it. And then we have Highlight the Truth, which is the highlighter in the set. And it's just a really pretty, I don't know, it looks kind of like a pinky peachy highlighter with some gold undertones. It's really pretty and it's really pretty for a natural glow. Like if you don't want that pale glow and you want something that's like natural from within, kind of like Becca highlighters. It's really smooth like that and it gives you like this natural glow from within when you have it on but it's really pretty like I've actually I actually couldn't wait I actually wore these two the other day and this one you would think it would look you know come out kind of ashy but it really doesn't it just gives the skin a really pretty glow and I just I really love these so if you guys want to see a tutorial with me doing this, which I probably will include these in one of my fall makeup tutorials, just so you can see how they apply on the skin, which I'm pretty sure you've seen videos already, but you haven't seen a video from me, so I'm going to do that for you guys. Alright guys, next up I'm going to show you what I ordered from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I ordered her fall lip gloss collection. And I ordered this collection because I was like, okay, when I seen them, I was like, these are some pr really pretty colors for the fall. And I think that these um, lip glosses would look good on any skin tone. But this, these are just the colors and this is how they look. And they are some very beautiful glosses. And I've already swatched them on the back of my hand just to show you how they look. And Anastasia's lip glosses are... They are really opaque. They're really thick. So you can pretty much wear these. I wear them as a lipstick. I mean, I have like three of her glosses already and I wear them as a lipstick because, I mean, they are so pigmented. So I'm going to show you the lip glosses, well, just like I did the Milani ones. And the first one that I have swatched is Rum. And this is Rum. And that is Rum. Swatched on the back of my hand. Um, next up we have Clara and this is Clara and it is just a red lip gloss and this is Clara next up we have which has to be my favorite out of the entire set and this one is maple like I don't even have to look at it because I've already seen it I haven't worn it yet but it's like a really pretty brown and it has like little flecks of glitter in it. It almost kind of looks like a metallic lip gloss. And there it is right there. And that's maple. It's a really pretty brown. It will probably look really good on top of that Maybelline chocolate lipstick. Alright, next up I have the shade Raisin. And this is Raisin. And it just looks like a really pretty mauve. And that's Raisin. I'm trying to get these like out of the pack. Alright, so 
so next up I have the shade Amber and this is how Amber looks and it's just like a really pretty nude shade it's like a peachy nude and then the last shade is Berry and this is Berry so these are all of the colors from the Anastasia Fall Lip Gloss Kit, just in case you are interested in ordering that. These are how the colors look. And now I'm going to show you the last thing that I ordered. Alright guys, so and the last thing that I ordered offline is the Tarte Big Blush Book 2. This is the number 2. I think maybe they came out with... Uh, an original last um, holiday but on the back you can see it just has um, Tarte works Tarte works of treat holiday 2016 then it has your little to and from card where you can present it as a gift and I'm just gonna show you how the book looks now I've been saving this blush book to show you guys for the longest because I think I ordered this blush book like a couple of weeks ago when it went on sale um, when Tarte put it on sale and they only had it on sale and I think it sold out like the first day but yeah this is just how the book looks and it's really big it seems like it'd be really hard to store so I'm probably just gonna depot these and put them in a z-pot but these are the blushes and you get one two three four five six seven eight blushes and this was sixty dollars. Let me just hold it up right. And they are some really pretty colors. Like I swatched them all, and the only one like these these are kind of coming up kind of like brownish on camera. But this one kind of looks like a mauve, and this one it kind of looks I don't know. Let me swatch it. Like you see, it doesn't look like a brown. So. It's kind of coming up as like a dusty pink. So that is just how that one is swatching. So yeah, I'm going I'm not going to swatch this for you guys today because I plan on doing a separate video on the holiday collection stuff that I picked up. I just want to show you everything today because I didn't want this video to be too long. So I wanted to just pretty much show you everything that I got today and then kind of swatch the holiday collections that I got for you guys in a separate video. So now I'm going to get into my maybe Ulta stuff because I got the most stuff from Sephora. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into Ulta and then I'll show you Sephora. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you the things that I picked up from Ulta first and I'm going to start off with this. Carly Bible palette and I've been seeing this palette everywhere and I have been planning on ordering off of B BH Cosmetics website and when I went into my local Ulta well there, there's two close to where I stay and when I went into both of them a couple of weeks back they were sold out so when I went into Ulta I think maybe like a week ago they had some back in stock on the shelf so I went ahead and I picked them up and I've used it once and the quality of the quality of this palette is amazing like I really love the eyeshadows in this palette and these are the four highlighters at the bottom which these two work really good for deeper skin tones these you can probably just use in, as an eyeshadow also this highlighter right here is actually what I'm wearing in my inner tear duct today so yeah I really do like this palette so if you haven't picked this palette up it's $14.99 I highly suggest if you are just starting out in makeup and you know you want to pick up a palette but you don't want to spend 50 bucks on a palette then you know I would definitely suggest this palette all right guys so next up if you don't know um Ulta they're having their 21 days of beauty and you know there's some stuff I was interested in really some stuff that I wasn't but I was interested in trying out the Lorac blushes so I picked up three blushes from Lorac and I picked up a highlighter from Lorac now I have the Lorac tantalizer but I didn't even know that they had these so when I saw these on the shelf I picked them up and they were half off I think the original price is like $22 and I paid like $11 for all four of these so this is just how they look they are some really pretty colors and I swatched them on the back of my hand and they are super pigmented so 
if you guys want to see swatches of these, then just let me know and I will show you swatches of them when I show you swatches in my holiday collection. All right, guys, and next up from Ulta, I picked up three liquid lipsticks, and two of them are from Too Faced. I picked up two of the Too Faced Molted Matte, liquefied matte long-wearing lipsticks, and I picked up these two shades. And I picked these up because I thought that they would be really pretty for the fall time, especially this one. It's called Drop Dead Red, and this one is pretty much my favorite. It is a, a gorgeous, gorgeous burgundy shade. And I really like these a lot. So I'm just going to swatch it for you. And that is Drop Dead Red. And that is such a really pretty burgundy. I really like this shade. And the next one. That, <clears throat> sorry that I picked up is cool girl and it just looks like a I will I think that this is the perfect nude liquid lipstick for darker skin tones because I think I went originally trying to get another shade but once I swatched that nude on my hand I saw that it was like way too light for me so I picked up this one and this one is just cool girl I'm gonna swatch this one on the back of my hand for you And that is how Cool Girl looks. This is like literally the perfect nude for deeper skin tones. Like I don't even have to wear a liner when I put this on. So yeah, I picked up two liquid lipsticks from Too Faced. And then the last liquid lipstick that I picked up is from Buxom. And I picked this lipstick up and it is called Centerfold. And I picked this lipstick up because I got... I got Centrifold as, in one, as a 100 point perk at Sephora and I tried it on and I liked it so much and I was like, okay, and these are like, let's see, they're whipped, they're whipped liquid lipsticks. So they're very comfortable to wear, like of course they do transfer, but they're really comfortable to wear and I love the color and the packaging is just so pretty. So this is just how it looks and I'm just going to go ahead and show you the color. It almost looks just like the Too Faced one. I don't like, I don't need to buy any more nude lipsticks. So this is Centerfold by Buxom. And I really do love, like this one is my favorite one. I think I'm going to go and get more of Buxom liquid lipsticks because they wear really comfortably. And I like the fact that they don't dry down and make your lips feel all cracked up. So these liquid lipsticks, this formula is very comfortable. So I really love these. So I highly suggest you check out Buxom's liquid, their, their whipped liquid lipsticks. All right, guys. And last up from Ulta, I also got this product from the 21 Days of Beauty sale. And it is the Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. And I got this because I have the original um, facial cleanser from Philosophy. And that's what I use to take off my makeup. And I absolutely love it. It gets my skin so clean. So when I saw that they had these and they were half price. And I think they were originally like $28. And I think I paid like $14 for both of them. But yeah, I picked up two of these. I've never tried these before. So I'm really interested in seeing how I like it. And I got it because it says that it's an exfoliating face wash. And I really don't like to do masks that much. I think that I'll do a mask maybe once a month. So, yeah. This is the exfoliating face wash. Alright guys, so first off, I, I got two of these little bags. And I think that this is like this cute little Sephora bag. And it's packed with samples and goodies. And I think I had to spend at least $35 to get one of these bags. So I spent a crap load of money. So she gave me two bags. So I'm just going to be including one of the bags in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So I'll show you guys when I do my holiday swatches. Like I said, what all comes in the bag, I'll open mine and show you. But I am going to um, give away one of these in my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. 
All right, guys, so you know brands like Tarte and Too Faced, they come out with holiday sets, and they come out with one, I think, that's in both stores, and they come out with one that's exclusive to Ulta, and they come out with one that's exclusive to Sephora. So I picked up the one that was exclusive to Sephora at the VIB Rouge sale, and that's why I didn't show you swatches of the Big Blush book, because I'm just going to show you both of these at the same time. So I'm just going to open it up and show you what is all in here and how it looks. So when you open up the packaging, it's really pretty packaging. Of course, Tarte's holiday packaging is always really pretty. So it's kind of, it's like a little book. And then you open it up. And you have your shadows. Let me just take this plastic off. And you have the shadows on one side. And at the bottom, you have a blush, a highlighter. Um, this one, I don't think you can use the bronzer. Kind of maybe a blush topper because it has like a lot of shimmer in it. And this one is supposed to be a bronzer. So this blush is a really pretty color. The highlighter is a really pretty color. And these two I probably use for crease colors. So now you have the shades right here. This is your palette. And I think that is a really pretty, it's a nice holiday palette. Some pretty colors. Then you have your dark shades on this side or your lighter sh shades on this side. And then when you open it up, you get a mirror right here, which I won't blind you. And then right here, you get the Tardiest Mascara. And you get the Super Slim Liner. And you get a Tarte Glossy Lip Paint. So this is what you get under this little flappy fold and this is how it looks and these are the eyeshadows so yeah I'm gonna swatch this whole thing for you in a separate video just dedicated to this little book and the big blush book alright guys next up I picked up the Bobbi Brown Bobbi to glow shimmer brick palette and I was kind of torn between this one and the Laura Mercier palette but the Laura Mercier highlighters, they just don't show up that great for me, which I don't really think they were intended to be used as a highlighter anyway. I think they said you kind of like supposed to dust it all over your face to give you this luminous glow. But I had Seduction, and it was just so subtle, and you couldn't see it at all, so I actually returned it. So I was like, okay, well, it really defeats the purpose of trying to buy, you know, the holiday gift set when I didn't even like, you know, the one that I bought for 40 bucks. So I picked up the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Palette. And I own one Bobbi Brown highlighter in Bronze Glow, and I really love it. So I was really excited to pick up this Shimmer Brick Palette, and this is just what it looks like. And then when you open it up, you get a nice size mirror right here. And then all the shades are covered by this little plastic, so just take these off. And you get four of the Shimmer Brick Strips, which I really like these um, little Shimmer Brick Strips. This one, you can they can be used as highlighters or eyeshadows so I really do love the colors in all of these this one I'll probably these two I'll probably use as my highlighter this one I'll probably use more of an eyeshadow or you know when I want to be extra I'll probably use it as a highlighter I'm not really sure but these um these shim the shimmer brick palette the size of these are only just a little bit smaller than they are in the regular packaging so I really think that you're getting a really good deal here I think this was like $68 for all three of these and I'm not sure how much one of them is, but I'll have it listed somewhere in the video how much one of these um, shimmer brick palettes are. So this is what I was really mostly excited to go and get. So I'm happy that I got a chance to pick this up because they didn't really have a lot of the holiday stuff out on the floor. So it was just selling out really fast. Like, I think the sale started at 830. Like, the sale was like from 830 to, I think, 10. We got to shop before the store opened. So I knew the sale was at 8.30. I didn't know that they would have, you know, limited quantities of the stuff. So it, it was a good crowd there. So I think I got up maybe around 8 o'clock and, you know, did everything I had to do. And I, I made it like 8.45. So I made it a good time. All right, guys. So the last thing that I picked up in the holiday section, I'm pretty sure you guys can already guess. It is the Too Faced Christmas in New... The theme is Christmas in New York this year. And this is just how their packaging look. And this is the set that is going to be exclusive to Sephora. Now, like I said in the beginning, they always have one that's exclusive to Sephora, one that's exclusive to Ulta, and then they have one that you can get in both. 
So this one is the one that is exclusive to Sephora. So I'm going to open it up and show you how it looks. All right, so when you open it up, you just get this little card that shows you pretty much, of course, classic Too Faced. It just gives you some ideas of how you can use the makeup that's in the palette and then just shows you what's all in the palette. And then when you open it up, you get this little box. I'm just going to take the top off. And when you take the top off and you pull it open, you get this pretty little setup. You get like this man and this woman shopping and ladies actually hold a little Sephora bag with a little dog with a bird on his head. And then you get a Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a Better Than Sex Mascara, and you get a Malted Liquid Lipstick, which I actually love these. And this it's a it's really it's a pretty decent size. And then the palette I think pops out. I haven't popped it out yet, but let's just try to pop it out. All right, and when the palette pops out, you just have this little insert, this, this little centerpiece that says Too Faced. And then here is the palette. And it says Christmas in New York, the chocolate shop. And it says cocoa powder infused, like most Too Faced products. So I'm just going to open it up and show you how the palette looks. The palette is beautiful. So this is how the palette looks. And mine came kind of... I don't know. I saw another YouTuber's video where she said hers came like this also. So, you know, I thought that, I thought for a second that maybe somebody had been swatching it in the store, but as you can see, there's no finger swatches in it. So I'm guess, kind of guessing it got roughed up, you know, a little bit during shipping or whatever, but it came a little messy, but that's okay because the packaging is so easy to clean off. But these are the shades. They are some very pretty shades. And if you are not, you know, really good at doing eyeshadow, you know, you just don't know what, you know, what shadow goes with what Too Faced has divided them like into little sections right here where you can use this one quad for a look, this quad for another look, you know, this side for another look. And then, of course, you get a chocolate Soleil bronzer, which I can do nothing with. I will probably just use it as a transition color. And then you get a inner light bronzer that's what it says it is and then you get a blush which is chocolate covered strawberries so again i am going to swatch this palette in a different video for you guys because i don't want this video to be super duper duper long so i'm just, like i said i'm just showing you everything that i picked up today so yeah this is the Too faced um christmas in new york holiday 2016 holiday set that comes exclusive to sephora all right, guys, and we're wrapping up this haul. I only have three more items to show you. Now, these were not a part of the holiday collection, the holiday sale, or the holiday event, but I just want to go ahead and pick these up while I was in there. And the first one is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer, and I picked mine up in the shade Deep 31. And I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, so I really wanted to try this one out because I've heard a lot of good things about this one also. So I wanted to try this one out and see how well I like it. I didn't get the powder because I do have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So I really didn't see a need in getting the other one. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this one out. And then I picked up the Sephora corrector in the shade orange. Now I have been looking for this corrector everywhere because I don't know if you're familiar with our channel. I have a list down below. CK Beauty uses it all the time. And it's just a really nice color. It's a really nice orange corrector. But every time I would go into my Sephora, they never had it. So I something just told me to go over there and look. And I went over there and looked and they had a whole section of it. So I'm thinking they just put them in stock there. But this is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Concealer. Not gel, sorry. The Sephora Bright Future Corrector. And this one is in the shade orange. And it's in the shade deep orange. So I think they have like a lighter one. This one is in the shade deep orange. And the last product that I picked up is the Benefits Cabral. And I wanted to pick this up because I heard that, you know, I don't know, it's a little bit, I don't know, the texture is different from my Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade so I wanted to try it out and this is just how it looked and I got mine in the shade number five and it comes with like a little brush on the top 
and you unscrew this and it comes with your pomade right in here now I really like benefits you know I like the whole line like I've been using the precisely my brow um, brow pencil and I really love this I picked this one up over my Anastasia one and I absolutely love that one but I have been loving this one lately so this is what I've been using so I wanted to try out the Benefits Cabral which is you know kind of like their dip brow pomade their version so I wanted to try it out so I'll try it out in the video and let you guys know how I like it so yeah guys that wraps up my haul thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. And leave me any video ideas that you want to see in the description box down below. I will try to get the swatches out of these as soon as possible. As well as get a fall makeup tutorial out because I know that I haven't done that. So if you guys like these types of videos and you like, haul and you like hauls because this was the very first haul that I've done on my channel. So let me know how I did in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that when my channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I will be having a giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe for your chance to win. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next video.